Hi, Martin here. Today I want to show you how to do a torque management delete on your 99 through 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now, this can be very well done to other model Chrysler products, especially if you got a TCU that looks like this, being your transmission control unit. If it looks like this, you can probably do it to that one as well. Now what this is going to do is give you a firmer and quicker shift at almost full throttle to full throttle positions. During normal driving, it, you won't notice any difference. It'll shift normally. But when you give it the gas, you're going to see that 1 to 2 shift and three to, 2 to 3 shift much quicker and firmer. And this is a very easy mod to do with no harm to the transmission at all. I've actually done this to this transmission already. This is a 04 Jeep Grand Cherokee and I've done it, oh gosh, it's got to be at least five years ago and still working great. All right, well let's get started. Now your TCU located right here next to the battery. I don't have my battery here, it's been relocated, but right here and you got your coolant reservoir and all you really need is this uh, an 8 millimeter socket and we can detach the connector from the TCU. Now there's another way to do that as well and that's at the other end of that wire which I'll show you as well. There's a gray connector right here that you could um, do the cut from that side as well. As you're loosening this bolt, it's pulling the connector out of the uh, TCU. And like I was saying, I've already done this to the uh, Jeep. And here is the wire that you're looking for. It's the yellow with a green stripe. The reason I have it exposed is in case I wanted to reconnect it. So what I did is I actually got a chunk of wire from pick apart out of one of these connectors and I removed the terminal from this end at pick apart, you know, one of their harnesses there and took out a section of wire and then removed it, the wire from this connector on my Jeep and brought it back in here. So now I got more than enough wire if I want to hook these two back up again or I want to run these two wires up to a switch and you could uh, simply turn it on and off that way. Let's see, yep, there's one of them. Okay, and here's the other wire. This is the original wire that went into this harness and plugged into the connector. Now, if I wanted to find out real quick how, if I didn't want that or how well it worked, all I had to do is plug that in, tape this back into the harness, and I'm good to go. But the way I have it is disconnected, and that way your torque management is not working, or it's deleted. Now, if you're wondering where is the other end of this yellow-green wire, well, it goes right here to this gray connector and it is in the number 8 terminal on that gray connector. I can see it right here, yellow with the green stripe. You could get to it from this end over here, here. Slide the red locking tab down, push the tab right here, and pull the connectors apart. And you can get to that wire right there. This is almost easier than having to take that apart if you don't want to. This way you do deal with a lot less wires. I think there's only, yeah, there is only the four, no, uh, 13 wires going to this uh, particular connector. Where this one here, you got a lot more to deal with. So this is a good way to go as well to get to that. 
pull this tape off. Slide that loom off of there a little bit. Then you got a little bit more tape under here. And now you can expose that wire and get to it really easily like that. And then as soon as you cut this wire, your torque management has been deleted or turned off, however you want to look at it. Now, to get in here into the connector, what we got to find is the number 10 terminal. You just pry these up gently. There we go. And there's our yellow and green right there. And on the connector itself, it does say number 10. Now what you could do is cut it right here if you want, and that's the end of it. You're done, you're ready to go. But I would also uh, at least put a couple butt splices on here, or some heat shrink, something. And uh, that or you can now cut it here if you like, and then run two wires back to your dash, or uh, maybe even over to your shifter and put a uh, switch there if you like. Um, I don't see any point in putting a switch in there at all. Like I said, the uh, transmission acts normally under normal driving conditions. And when you step on it, you get what you want. You get a firmer and quicker shift. When you put these covers on, make sure your wires are off to both sides, because they can pinch if the wire crosses over top of this bolt as you're putting this cover on. Okay, something I wanted to show you, just in case you wanted to do it the way I did it, where I literally got a section of wire from, let's say, pick apart, plugged it into the connector, and then had that nice long lead to work with. Uh, what I got here is a wiring harness for the transmission control. Um, I'm actually doing a wire tuck, and this is what this is for. I'm going to actually make that TCM, TCU, disappear. I mean, it'll still be there. You just won't see it when you lift the hood anymore. And I'm going to make all the wires on the uh, right side of the engine bay. That's all going to be gone. Uh, so this is why I got this. It's for an upcoming video. Hopefully I'll be underway on that in the next couple weeks here. But uh, let me show you how to unload one of those terminals out of here. And I'll, I'll take the one out, the uh, yellow with the uh, green stripe. And another thing about that. When you're, let's say you're not going to take this cover off at all. You're just going to locate that wire. You're going to cut it and be done with it. Make sure it's the yellow with the green stripe. There's also some other yellows in here. Yellow with a red, yellow with a purple, and I believe there's a yellow with a blue. And that's the one I would be worried about making sure you're getting the right wire that you're going to cut. And that's why taking the cover off and finding number 10 verifies uh, which wire it is. If you find that yellow with the green in the number 10 terminal, you got the right one. Okay, we got the yellow with the green right there. I verified that it's the number 10. Now, what I want to show you is how to get that terminal out of there. This red piece right here is like a lock for the lock. <laughs> it, there's a locking tab that holds the terminal in but then this red piece locks all the terminals so they don't accidentally uh, come out of there. 
And all you want to do is get yourself a small screwdriver and pry that upwards. There we go. Okay. Now comes the hard part to show you. Down inside here, there are locking little tabs. Very hard to see. Okay, this is the one I'm after. Yep. And down in here, there's a little locking tab. All you gotta do is catch it with this little screwdriver and pry it outward away from the terminal. There you go. Comes right out. What it's doing is catching right in here. That little piece of plastic, it's got like a little tab on it that's holding that connector, or I mean, excuse me, that terminal in there. See, now you could pull this out of here and you got all this wire to work with. Now, if you did this at the pick apart, got yourself a section of wire, you put another one in here and you'd have two nice leads. Now, place the terminal back in here. Check, make sure it's locked. Take this piece. There we go. That's about one of the easiest transmission mods you can do. Uh, simply cutting a wire and you're done. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you did, I sure appreciate the thumbs up. And if you never subscribed to me before, please click that subscribe button right down there. <laughs> and that bell symbol right next to it. And that way you get notified the next time I upload a video. Sure appreciate that. And I'm also an Amazon affiliate. Please check out the links down below where you'll find tools and products that were in the video. And you can do all your Amazon shopping right through one of those links and that way the channel earns a small commission. Do appreciate that. Thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next one. Hi, Martin here. Today I want to show you guys how to do a torque management delete. And what that is, is simply taking away the, uh, I don't know what it is.